Hi everyone, welcome back to another Amfish video blog. Uh, I want to do a blog on trolling. Um, I've seen it done a lot of right ways and a lot of wrong ways. Um, hopefully you can hear me over the roar of the motor over here. Um, but basically, uh, when it comes to trolling, unfortunately, sometimes if you're in a rental boat, uh, you'll have to rely on your knowledge of the water. Um, that's not so hard to do. You can piece that together over time, find a body of water that you fish, and uh, just try and find that pattern where you control where fish are going to be holding. Um, if you are fortunate enough to be in a boat like I am here, um, you got a depth finder, you got your sonar, uh, you can establish a pattern of where you want to troll. And um, one of the key things I see people do incorrectly is the second they've got a fish on the line, everyone stops the boat. Uh, they let off the, the throttle in a rental boat and they just pull the handle back on a, on a boat like this. What that does is cause a lot of slack in your line. Uh, example, if you've got a big pike or a big muskie on or even a big pickerel, uh, once that fish feels that slack, it, that's its opportunity to get off. Um, so what you're going to want to do if someone does actually shut off the, the motor or just completely stops the boat, uh, I just recommend getting up and moving forward. Uh, try and walk towards the front of the boat and keep as much tension as you can on that rod. Um, again, if somebody is actually still in drive, uh, leave it in drive for a couple of seconds. Make sure you've set that hook on that fish and you've buried that hook into its mouth. Um, and you can still at that point move forward and get up and go towards the front of the boat. You want to maintain that, that complete pull on the fish. Uh, basically, very basic terms, it's you've got to maintain that tension on the fish. Uh, by moving forward and, and just actually walking forward, you're going to maintain that bend in your rod. The second your rod tip lets out and you, your line goes completely limp and slack, um, there's a really good chance you're going to lose that fish. So again guys, just a little tip here on trolling. Um, once you get a hit, keep the throttle moving forward, get yourself set up, and stand up and fight that fish uh, and enjoy the fight. One of the things, again, somebody pulls this back and actually stops the boat, use your body. Just move forward, walk as fast as you can towards the front of the boat and keep that rod bend on. And uh, you'll see over time, you do this technique a few times, uh, you'll understand what I'm talking about. You will set the hook and you will probably not lose uh, as many fish as you would if you cut off the throttle. So thanks for tuning in guys. See you next time.